Hi, Sandy here. Um, I just scrapbooked a bunch of photos of I repainted my garage and my workshop and I took a lot of photos, too many photos. <laughs> and you know, there's not people in them. They're, you know, they're kind of boring, not to me, but what do you do with your pictures that you take of your house and things that you have that are not with people? Um, and this is my scrapbook. I've been, lived in my house 17 years. We've done so much remodeling. We put on an addition. Um, before and after pictures. Everything. Um, and it's getting pretty full, really. But I've put these tabs on here for different sections. Um, this is the front of the house. And the back of the house backyard just room by room I've got these tabs um, this is my entryway and a staircase and move my glue pad out of the way um, when I moved in th these are some old pages I made and they're they're kind of boring really um, but my new ones are nice um, anyway so when I moved in it had this staircase and it's not bad but I, I wanted a Victorian house <laughs> with wood unpainted wood so I replaced it with this stair railing and I added this board that, well was there a board there I think no this was a new board that I cut anyway I redid the stairs so I got before and after pictures and the side of the stairs um, were covered with carpet and for some reason they had been slit like that so I even replaced all the treads with some nice oak treads um, and then then recently I made this page um, October 2018 I bought a new carpet runner for the stairs because I had to take a picture here's looking up the stairs and looking down the stairs so uh bathrooms remodeling uh, my daughter's room through the years it started out with her baby care, baby bed and then her toddler bed and then her a little princess room at, at age five and then her tween room and you know and i just keep adding on to each section whenever i remodel so here's what i've done just just recently and i actually made a video um you might have seen it of us taken everything out of the workshop and then after then I I repainted it not on the video and then I gave a tour afterward so um these are the pages that I made and you gotta have, make them interesting and colorful I think um uh, even though they're boring um so and here's a little quirk that I have when I'm scrapbooking I'm usually adding to another book because things go in certain sections I, I like things very organized well this is my section for my workshop in my garage and um, so this is my next empty page it, it, it's got to be a single page layout that's why I like to have my book nearby so I have to start with a single page layout and then move on to um, two page layouts so my first page is is very basic um, we had one of them floor rack floor things for the rakes and brooms and, and they're always falling out and it's taking up a lot of floor space and it's a mess um, and I actually did you can see in this picture I did paint I, I built this I actually used two by fours for these long deep racks these are the snow shovels and the rakes and uh, regular shovels and everything has a place now and it's up off the floor it doesn't look pretty but it's it's organized now and up off the floor and I do like it um, so <laughs> I took pictures of my rakes and shovels um, and I wrote organized rakes shovels etc organized snow shovels brooms etc and I wrote the date 2000 spring 2019 and this is the lawn area all redone that's that's all done um, so then I just had this little blank space and so for all of the um, workshop pictures I used this polka dot print just to fill in the spaces so that's my first page 
and then here's a two page layout for the next section um, this is the workshop all all cleared out and they're not really in order just certain spaces together this is my lawn the lawn and garden corner so all those pictures are together during different stages and I didn't take a picture of each space in every stage so it's <laughs> you get what you get um, so here's all cleared out and I've washed the walls and uh, got all the cobwebs out and swept it and cleaned it and it's all clean and ready to paint and then here I painted this these front posts and and I painted the shelves you can't really see it too well and I even painted the foundation where before I hadn't had it painted it and then it's still got this old concrete floor and then here it is everything's put back and reorganized rearranged um, nice and tidy not a lot less stuff on the floor and this is um, before I painted the garage it's still the concrete floor and then here um, is this corner I did have this shelf going all the way across here and a lot of stuff hanging down here behind the, the, the table saw and stuff and it was just falling down all the time so everything's got its own space now I had um, four wooden sawhorses taking up a lot of space so I just got rid of them and I bought four folding ones and I built this bracket got them up off the floor and uh, then here's the floor painted I painted it with epoxy paint um, and then so here's my nice balanced page and I filled in these blank spaces with polka dots and then this blank space I filled it in with the polka dot print and then I got this tag and actually this is my garden area <laughs> but this is a pretty garden tag I didn't really have a tool tag but I like to make my tags and borders and pre-made and I just got this one on here here's a here's a polka dotted ladybug uh, with on the polka dotted paper so that looks pretty good so I uh, and my theme is kind of red in the garage I start with my red toolbox and I add a lot of red accessories you'll see that on the next page and the lawn mowers are red so I go with red so that's my two page layout because what do you do with such boring pictures and, and I, I'm happy with these pages so then I've got this and I just hand write stuff on here I'm not picky and you should do things your own way who's out there <laughs> I think my daughter's behind it outside the door out there so anyway um, this is my my work workbench I had built that quite a while back and I shifted it over there and, and put the work table here and I had the toolbox over in this corner and there was a door right here so it was behind the door now the workbench is behind the door but I rearranged everything and I meticulously spent a, like a full week cleaning out the toolbox and rearranging everything and I keep my, my table saw and not well there's my table saw but my jigsaw and my router and my um circular saw in, in these boxes along with the manual and extra little tools that go with them so everything is all together and if and what I do is um, when I'm building something I will actually pull a car out of the garage and I got an entire workspace of of open space and and I take my tools and my table saw right out to that space and I've got room to work um, so that works well for me because the car this is part of the garage uh, I'll show you that when we get to it um, so this is this space all ready to paint and before painting and after painting see I painted the foundation and cleaned everything all up and um, so this is these two are basically the same um, this is after painting the garage and after having it all reorganized and then this is after we painted the floor so then I had this empty space over here and I had made this tape this tag quite a while ago it's a pedal car so that's cars in a workshop sure so I like that oh that's my dog squeaking the door my dog wanted to come in hello Rosie okay 
So that's the workshop. And now moving on to the garage because at the same time, not the same day, but at the, during the same, this, this project took me like a month. But during the same time, I, I redid the garage. And so my garage is two cars wide and two cars deep. And um, so we can get three vehicles in there. And it's always this clean. This is before. We don't keep any, any stuff in there on the floor. We got a recycling bin and, and a couple of other things in there. But we don't keep anything on the floor. Um, and this, we walled in this space. And this is where the workshop is. So this is before um, with the concrete floor. And um, this is when I got everything all cleaned up. I mean, I washed this and I wiped down the, the, the framework for the garage door opener and stuff. For the, you know, where the garage door rolls up. And I, I cleaned everything and the light fixture. And man, there was a lot of cobwebs in that garage. But so I got it all cleaned up and ready to paint. And here it is all painted and, and ready and uh, I'll put back together um, and we keep our bikes here now doesn't really work that great because we parked the truck here and we got to move the truck to get them out we don't ride them much anyway so um, and then here's the floor we, we, when you paint the floor with epoxy you have to scrub it with and get all the oil up and use a degreaser and um, then you have to um, get this uh, etching stuff that roughs up the floor a little bit so the paint will stick. So this is after over three hours of scrubbing and rinsing and getting the water out. So, uh, I did it four times in each section uh, to get it good and clean. So there it's all wet and shiny and ready to paint. And then here's immediately after I painted it, the paint's still wet. And then here's after I painted it and it's all done and ready but we had to wait like four days for to cure better before you can drive your vehicles on it and so now these I make these layouts all the time um, you know these are some boring pictures how can you make interesting pages out of them um, well and I wrote the descriptions on the sides here and um, Three four by six photos don't fit on an eight and a half by eleven page. That's the only size I do. Um, so I have to crop them a little bit. And then you always end up with this dead space over here. And all I did was um, I used a different pattern. This is the pattern I used for the workshop. And this is the pattern I used for the garage. But it kind of ties together. It's polka dots. Um, so red and black is good for the garage. I think good colors. Um, so I just cut it, took one sheet of paper, well I used two sheets for this, this part, all the whole garage pages, and just cut a strip and glued it on there, and then this is actually, I had a wide strip of, of, uh, it's, I've got another one here, these are my scraps, I, I sort them by color, and keep them here because I love making borders and stuff I this I had this and I put it in my paper trimmer and it tore because it's it's um construction paper so I took my scissors these are for a torn look and I just made it look like torn and the way it turned out um, this side was narrower than this side because I don't know why it was. <laughs> I wrote bigger there maybe? I don't know why it turned out that way. But anyway, um, so this is a little narrower. But So there's a nice, nice layout. So then next, here's my next two page layout. Um, I actually started with the last pictures and worked my way to the beginning of the pictures. Um, so this is the west wall. Um, this is before I painted. You can see the garage track and the beams and everything was so dusty and dirty. I got it all cleaned up. And then here's after I painted and got my I rearranged my stuff and the floor is not painted yet. Um, then um, I love, I have a lot of this stuff on my garage walls, automotive stuff, um, vintage stuff, it's, it's fun. 
and then this is the garage door um, I had and the, we built the garage 10 years ago in 10 years it gets pretty grimy <laughs> so I scrubbed this whole thing down I got it good and wet and wiped it down it came pretty it looks pretty good and I got everything all cleaned up and and here's the floor there's a lot of wet spots from cleaning um, there's my bucket there <laughs> it's a, uh, so this is all ready to paint and then this is completely done after being painted and when the fl epoxy floor is done epoxy floor um, so um, I added these two pictures to fill in more space there because that's what I had to work with and I added a strip here and a strip here and I put just put a gray piece on there just to make it a little more interesting and this is a little tag that I had made I had that in with my embellishments and it's got a car on it and it's just really cool so I think that looks really nice for the garage and then one more two page layout um, so I cut a wide strip for over here and put it there and a narrow strip here and I used a red embellishment there with some black on it. It says love on it, but I love my new garage. <laughs> and then, then this I had, I, I just pulled these out of what I had made a long time ago. And this is excellent for my garage. It's a, it's a vintage truck. You know what? Where did I get that? That looks, <laughs> yeah, where did I get that truck? I think I printed it from, uh, I think I pr downloaded it off Pinterest and cut it out, but that's that truck. And I, you know, it, sometimes you do things you don't even know that you did them. Look at that. Perfect match. That's really cool. Okay, so. Uh, oh, now I got to move. Anyway. So here's the east wall. Um after it's painted and some art some uh, of stuff I have on the walls and a close-up of my epoxy floor and I wrote right on these pictures because I didn't really save space over here to write you know it tells you your information and then uh, this one this is my wall art I've got a lot of wall art in the garage. It's fun. And I've got more that I didn't even take pictures of. So it's it's a nice balanced layout. So that there you go. Um, what to do with some just boring old pictures and make them look interesting. So now when I flip through my scrapbook, I've got nice, colorful, interesting pages to look through. So thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.